gonna get soaked by the tip of his knee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Woo, Stonehenge. It's a bit tiny on the GoPro though. Yeah, it is. Mummy's in reception, checking us in. Get in here, you sexy thing. It's the first morning in the tent. Dominic's cooking up some breakfast. Not very well. We're getting there. It's, it's really nice because like making friends already. Yeah, it is. It's really cute. Isn't There's it? loads of kids on this campsite. This is called the Stonehenge campsite. Um, and it's a really family related campsite, so we've liked it so far. I would Lots definitely of recommend it. The, the showers are really clean, they clean them every day and they're really nice. Yeah. It's, you know, it's good pictures and everything. A bit rocky underground when you try to put tent pegs in, but that's the yeah. So yeah, far. we tried, we, we had struggled getting some tent pegs in because of the rocks, but that was fine. Today, there's going to be apparently some feeding of some alpacas because they've got alpacas here and they bring them into the field. So, hopefully, we can check that out before. We go out for the day's activities. What do you think to get in this sleeping bag then? What? <laughs> Here come the alpacas. <laughs> Try not to throw the food on the ground. Because yeah. right. it encourages rodents to just try and hold it in your hand so they've eaten it. Yeah? Come with you. Good girl. Let mummy help you. No, oh my god, yes. <laughs> Look. Look a little bit. How it sounds Only time to the black one. Oh. No, they don't like being straight, so they're just scared. Oh, well. No, no, no. Don't flinch away, hold you. Don't flinch away. Just lay, let it be a cuffet so it doesn't go on the floor like that. That's what that's doing. There you go, see? Thank you. No wonder this one's so big. <laughs> that is an absolute bonus to have that just on your campsite. That's a free activity. Oh, this is strong, is it? Yeah. Do we know where we're going? Do I need sat nav? Probably. Can I just give you a top tip? Yeah. About that hand sanitizer. What about the hand sanitizer? Don't use the hand sanitizer and then try and pick your nose. Because right. I can just smell hand sanitizer now. Okay. It's disgusting. Can you taste hand sanitizer? A little bit. Oh, you grim. You picked your nose and ate it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I caught a fish alive. You reckon you could move it? Give a push. No. I reckon these are the types of homes that the people who built Stonehenge would have lived in and they based all of these on archaeological remains that they found. So that bit you can see for free if you want to go into Stonehenge, English Heritage or an England National Trust member, you can go in for nothing. Unfortunately, we joined the Scottish National Trust because it was slightly cheaper and that's not valid here. So we're not going to go in, but that doesn't mean you can't see the stones because I don't need to go in. I've got a drone.
cross was erected in memory of two pioneering airmen who were killed in a flying accident near here in 1912. It marks this area as a cradle of British military aviation. We've just arrived at Avery World Heritage Site and this one is Silbury Hill. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Copy backfield and in 2000 a hole appeared at the summit which is the top. We're at the stone circle of Avebury. This is another area where they've used quite large stones to form a structure. The stones here are very different to Stonehenge. They're not all cut to the sort of rectangular shape. They're pretty abstract in their shapes and they're all different. And the circle goes all the way around. Um, and over there there's a pub, the Red Lion pub, which claims to be the only pub inside a stone circle. Well, it, it is, like if you look at these ones, they are, and if you look down, like there's more of them all the way along, and then every so often you get one of the abstract ones, but every so often you get one of these ones. And I don't know whether over time maybe somebody sharpened them down to this, or did they? It might be that a stone has eroded or fallen over, and they've put a marker to where it would have been. That would yeah. make more sense, but it doesn't tell you that in the books. No, we'll never know because there's no information in the books. Sort it out. Look how big that is. Not exactly little anymore, are you, Some of them have got like these holes. I'm not sure why they're there. Well, that's the last day of our camping done. We've just packed away the tent. Look at this footprint we've left out the window. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs>